do you like ships? Do you like tanks? Do you want to take a fridge and a bunch of your friends and go to war? Alright, welcome to the LVT or the alligator. This is the Americans answer to the threat in the Pacific and especially for those dirty tree hugging Viet Cong Alrighty then, off the bat, the alligator is a fantastic piece of ship! Minus its absolute size for a tank, it could go in the water for amphibious assaults and could take a few rounds before you had to go back to the hangar. And then realize you just wasted another br group of brave young Americans. So congratulations, you just played yourself more. With its 37mm cannons and the boys in the back with the 30 caliber Browning machine guns, you and the boys are going to have a field day cleaning up the beaches of Iwo Jima all the way to the streets of Berlin. So, let's get it started. Oh, and by the way, I am covering its other variants in the game. And I will try to talk about them. But there's only three that I have. So, enjoy. Alright. So, already this thing, the OVT-1, has a 37mm M6 cannon with three M1919 A4s Browning machine guns like the ones on this M2 A4 the steward it's meant for infantry and aircraft but actually it's for the infidels that are escaping our grasp with a max speed of 40 kilometers an hour or 24 miles per hour in American you know cause anything other than American is an American the alligator is not bad at reaching speeds that your allies have advantage on on land surprisingly enough literally most of the time I'm driving around and I'm catching up with my either my squad mate or the rest of my team or I'm going so damn fast that I managed to get in to the enemy lines and pretty much wreck their shit the brother or sister whatever you see fit of the of the dash 1 variant is the LVT dash 4 in which it replaces the M6 cannon that fires the 37 millimeter for the big boy 75 millimeter M2 howitzer with 46 shells of pure liquid fire that guarantees the destruction of all and of anything literally down to the atoms of pure liquid fire this is like Think of it like this, if Febreze and Clorox were to make a baby for killing germs, this kills everything in terms of germs. The OVT-4 is the same as the Dash-1 variant minus the gun and one less crew. It also brings a .50 cal M2HB machine gun that melts light tar targets and open top tanks. I cannot stress this enough, use the 50 cal on anything you see paper thin it will eat it out you will have almost guaranteed destruction amongst your target that you're looking at minus of course the 75 millimeter cannon that reloads faster than i can think and or faster than i can run to the local mcdonald's because how fat i am the 50 cal will do it better in terms of you have a bunch of rounds firing at a innocent target so there is also a variant of the dash 4 but this one uses the 57 millimeter blint cannon that can penetrate up to 145 millimeters of armor but that is in the chinese focus tree which you can get in the american but you need to put some uh cash first to get that Unfortunately, you lose most of your machine guns, so I don't know why you use the 57mm black gun. I mean, then again, the LVT-4 with the 75 M2 howitzer replaces most of the, uh, most of the 30 cals for 150 cal, which does its job better in terms of penetration and aircraft killing. But I digress. The LVT has gone through a bunch of changes. This thing has more changes than there are genders. Sorry if that offends anyone. Starting with the LVT-1, which was just a box that had tracks 
literally, it's just for carrying things. It was later retrofitted with the Stewart gun and the howitzer that was previously mentioned being the dub, the LBT-2, which is the footage you're looking at the most of the time. Other variants being the one used in Tanai, which was dubbed the Doodlebug and the bu Water Buffalo that had more machine guns and less cannons. That one was the LBT A-2, which was worked as a cargo Amtrak. Another variant of the LBT was retrofitted with two Wasp flamethrowers and a machine gun that was sent to the British, in fact, for the Royal Marine for the uh, for the Royal Marines in an assault on the Japanese mainland. But you know. We, instead of using that, we dropped two suns on the Japanese. Guess that turned out better than expected. So if anyone can find said variant, it'd be great to let me know so that I can use that to pick up my brother from school. Thank you. There's a lot of variants of this tank and the list could go on, but these were my handpicked favorite. You can look more on the link below where I grabbed my, most of my information from. This bad boy was used all throughout the war in the Pacific and it finished its use in 1945, with 18,000 being built, including its variants having more than 200 plus being built for almost each one. Essentially, there was quite a bit of each variant of the tank, surprisingly enough. Look, the LVT is great, but amongst all the amphibious vehicles in the game, this one is more or less one of the better options that being you can have a good survivability amongst your tier that being let's say you're fighting low tier you're fighting only low tier unlike some which a simple tank round can literally just destroy your tank no promises with a decent speed you're sure to be entering the next nascar race assuming that you can make it there a variety of weapons to use on a vehicle that ensures an A plus for mass slaughter, the LVT is a perfect beast for anyone starting or wanting to lay back and enjoy some low tier gaming. Use it. It's not a bad tank. In the right hands, it can destroy teams, but that's only if it's in the right hands. Could that person be you? Thanks for watching. Me 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 me